So sometime last week, Rosa got a nerf and I thought to myself, how can we test how strong she actually is? And then it hit me. Let's take three of the same brawler and have them unload their supers on Rosa all at the exact same time, right after she's activated her super. Well, that's exactly what we did because I'm a brawl nerd. <laughs> and normally I would time each of the brawlers and do some calculations regarding which brawler was going to be the best and then put them in order from worst to the greatest. But honestly, the order wouldn't actually be that different than some of the recent Brawl Stars Olympics videos that I did, like where I did every brawler against the bot in the training cave. <laughs> Instead, we're gonna go ahead and start with the lamest brawlers and then move our way to which I think are gonna be the coolest brawlers um, possible to take out Rosa. So uh, make sure you watch through the end so you don't miss some of the coolest ones. We're gonna start with the lamest brawler and that's gonna be Gene. Okay, yeah, that was pretty lame. Maybe the next brawler will be a little bit cooler. Nope, Poco wasn't any cooler than Jean was. Maybe three roses against Rosa? Okay, now that was a lot of punches to the face. But Rosa didn't even get taken out until after her super ran out, so I'm thinking, how about adding more punches to the face? Okay, now that, that's more like it. Now for this next one, we're not gonna be talking about punches, but there is a lot of damage. Yeah guys, Daryl is actually one of the fastest to take Rosa out in this challenge. Oh my gosh, there's a sloth mauling that Rosa. Yeah, if you didn't figure it out by now, uh, a group of bears is called a sloth for some reason. I guess you learn something new every day. <laughs> so then, what do you call a group of turrets? Uh, well, uh, I don't know, but let's see it in action. Well, as long as we're doing groups of turrets, I think it's only fair that we give Penny a turn. You may have noticed that Frank was standing right in front of Rosa, so she really got blasted in the face with a ton of pennies. Well, you know what they say about turret parties, that it's not a turret party unless Pam's there, too. At least I'm pretty sure that's how the saying goes. Up um, next is a pool of poisonous death, all produced by your friendly neighborhood bartender, Barley. How would you like to take a dip in that sometime? Oh, you mean you're not a fan of melting to death? Well, how about getting blown up to pieces? <laughs> you tell me, it wasn't enough explosions. Okay, you want even more explosions? Okay, fine. You asked for it. Even more explosions. Okay, wow. Uh, yeah, remind me to never get shot in the face by three pipers all over again like that. That was intense. Okay, guys, no more explosions. Okay, maybe one last explosion. Okay, for real though, no more explosions. This next one, however, is gonna leave your head spinning. Okay, 
I think I'm getting a little dizzy here just from watching that spinning teamer. Okay guys, now we're gonna move on to some brawlers that just annihilate Rosa. Yeah, guys, Rosa really did not stand a chance against any of those brawlers, even with her invincibility super. So, we are down to the last five brawlers, and for these ones, I specifically saved them for last just because I thought that they looked really cool. Let's go ahead and start off with Crow. Legend has it that Crow doesn't know the difference between Rosa and a trampoline. And for this one, all I gotta say is, it's hammer time. This next one's gonna bring you nightmares of bats. Very creepy, Mortis. Very creepy. And I call this next one, the Circle of Death. Okay guys, we are down to the last brawler. I consider this one to be the coolest of them all. Do you remember which one is left over? If you happen to remember, let me know in the comment section below. Yeah guys, Rosa just got pummeled in the face with over 50 bouncy balls. I think we gotta see that one again, but this time in, of course, slow motion. Yeah, that'll hurt. Did you think that Rico was the coolest out of all these brawlers or was there another one that you thought looked cooler? Make sure you let me know by commenting below and if you would like to see some more videos similar to this one, make sure you subscribe and let me know which ones you would like to see. And also don't forget to support me by clicking on the Brawl Stars creator link in the description below and any gems that you spend in the game will go towards supporting my channel. And if you've already clicked it, make sure you click it again because it expires after seven days. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this. For now, this is Kairos time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.